Hi guys, welcome to AC Technical. In this video, I am going to show you how to fix stop code system thread exception not handled on Windows 11 and Windows 10. Stop code system thread exception not handled is a common blue screen error. Basically, this can occur due to old, incompatible, or corrupted device drivers, due to system file corruption, due to bash sectors on the hard disk, or when the lifespan of your hard disk is about to end. Overclocking and modifying the key value in BIOS can also cause this error issue. And if your computer is infected with malware or viruses. However, don't worry. Here, I'll show you 5 proper fixes that can surely help to fix stop code, system thread exception not handled error in Windows 10 and Windows 11. So, let's get started. In this current unstable situation, shut down your computer by pressing and hold down the power button for 10 seconds and then turn on your system and hold the F8 key on the keyboard until the boot screen is appear. This process will take you to Windows recovery environment. The key may be different in your case, it could be F5 or F6 or F7 and simultaneously you may need to press and hold down the function key as well. If not working, then press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds to shut down your computer forcefully. After that, turn your computer back on again. Repeat this process 3 times, then Windows will automatically boot into Windows recovery mode. Well, once you enter in Windows recovery environment, click troubleshoot. Click advanced option. After that, click startup settings. Click on restart button. Now press F4 on the keyboard to enable safe mode. Now keep patience, your system will reboot and it will boot into safe mode. Once you are able to boot Windows in safe mode, then go to control panel and open program and features. After that, click on view installed updates. Note, a blue screen error is more likely to occur after installing a community update for Windows due to bugs or incompatibility problems. So, if you are able to get to the safe mode, then you can try to uninstall any recently installed update using these following steps. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. Incompatible GPU driver can be responsible for blue screen crashes. In that case, first boot into safe mode by following previous method. Once you are able to boot Windows in safe mode, then go to Windows Device Manager by right click on Windows Start icon. Now, expand Display Adapter Directory. Right click on your GPU driver and click on Uninstall Devices. Now, check this box Attempt to remove the driver for this device and click on Uninstall button. Now, it will ask for Restart to complete the uninstall process. and click on yes to continue. After rebooting, hopefully your problem will be solved. Try this restart procedure. But note, if the problem is critical, then it will not work on your computer. First. Press and hold down the power button for 10 seconds to shut down your computer. Now, press the power button and then immediately press and hold down the shift key on the keyboard. And don't release the shift key until the user visuals to appear.
If you are able to boot Windows without the blue screen error appearing, then open the Windows terminal and make sure your computer is connected with the internet. Now type the command sfc space forward slash scan now and press enter to execute. Now wait for the system file checker to finish scanning your computer. If system checker found any integrity violation, then type dism.exe space for slash online space for slash cleanup hyphen image space for slash restore health and press enter to execute. Keep patience until the process is finishes. Once done, close the terminal and restart your device to see if the system thread exception not handled error has been fixed. If not solved, then you need to perform system restore by going to Windows recovery mode by following the first method or using Windows Recovery Media or Windows Bootable USB Drive. If you don't have a Windows installation media, then here's a certain tutorial for you. Now, insert your Windows installation media to your computer's USB port and restart your computer and go to your PC's BIOS or Boot Manager to boot from your Windows Bootable USB Drive. Now click on next and click on repair your computer. Well, once you enter in Windows recovery mode, click troubleshoot, click advanced option. Now click system restore. Click next button. Now select your recently created system restore point and click next button to restore. This procedure will help to restore your windows settings to previous status. This might take several minutes so keep patience. Once done, it will ask for restart, click on restart button and hopefully your problem will be solved. If all of this method are not working for you and if your computer still does not start then insert your windows bootable USB drive to your computer's USB port and restart your computer and go to your PC's BIOS or boot manager to boot from your windows bootable USB drive.
Now click on next and click on repair your computer. Click on troubleshoot and click command prompt. Now type bcd edit and press enter to find out your OS drive letter. Well, my OS drive letter is J and system root path location source backup slash windows in upper case. And if your system root path location showing in sentence case, then no problem. Now type sfc space for slash scan now space for slash of booter equals to your system drive letter colon backup slash space for slash of winder colon your OS drive letter colon backup slash your system root path location. Note maintain the same block or small letter format as it is showing on the system root path location. Now press enter to execute. Keep patience. Don't close this scan and repair operation until it's completed. Well, after completing the process, as you can see the status, Windows Resource Protection did not find any integrity violations. Or if you see, Windows Resource Protection found Kodak files and successfully repaired them, then fine. Now type exit and press enter. Now turn off your system and remove the Windows installation media and then turn your PC back on. After that, hopefully your problem will be solved. If all of these methods are not working, then don't waste your time. In that case, it's better to perform a clean installation process on a separate partition. After that, try to recover your important data from the corrupted system partition. So, I hope this guide was helpful for you. If you have any question or any advanced guide, then please let us know. Please like, comment and share. We need your support. And guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.